I want to start with Super Bowl picks. So Max said earlier in the show he's going with the Chiefs. I've said the Bucks. Stephen A. hasn't disclosed yet. I'm sure he will later in the week. Who are you picking and why? Well, I hope they both lose uh, <laughs> as a player watching the game. But, but uh, you know, it's tough to root against root for uh, a team in my division, obviously. So I got, I got to go with the Chiefs. Christian, it's always good to see you. You know how I feel about you, my brother. I think you're a star, and you, you know, I'm so happy for you and what you've been able to do in your career. You struggled this season. I want to know how your health is. I think you had an ankle sprain. You had a quad injury. You suffered a shoulder injury, for crying out loud. How are you feeling right now, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and what are you looking forward to for next season? Because I'm looking at Matt Rule. I kind of like what I've seen from this man in his first year at the helm. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, obviously this was uh, this was an unexpected year um, for me. You know, like a lot of people around the the, the country and the world in general. Um, you know, there was a lot of unexpected uh, injuries for me, and something that uh, is rare. You know, I've, I've I've never missed a game, and uh, you know, having to sit out and watch from a distance was uh, was really tough. You know, you you, you kind of feel like uh, you're not a part of the team when it first happens, but. Uh, you know, quickly I had to change and, and, and address that and, and find positives out of it. And I, I, you know, I learned so much about myself, about my teammates, and got to watch the team from the outside looking in, and uh, you know, get better at different things like like you know, leadership skills. Uh, got to get better uh, when it came to understanding you know the flow of the game, uh, in game uh, changes, and situational football. And and so for me, I think uh, you know I'm going to take this year and get better from it. And you know, like you said. Uh, watching Coach Rule um, in his first year and, and watching the, you know, development of, of such a young team was exciting. Uh, you know, we do have such a young team, and without OTAs, with a new staff, with uh, new players left and right, um, I only saw improvement as the year went on. So, uh, you know, injury-wise, you know, when it when it rains, it pours sometimes, and it's just the way it goes. But um, I know that I'm going to learn from it and get a lot better from it. So. I'm already, you know, I already got the bug. I'm already hungry for next year and, uh, you know, excited to, to, to get back with the guys. Christian, you're a guy who can do it all and then some. Not only run the ball, obviously, out of the backfield, pat, cat, uh, pat, catch passes is what I'm trying to say in English. With the best of them, uh, you can block now. Like, you can run between the time. Whatever you want to do at the position and then some, you can do. When I look at this Super Bowl, I look at one player based on the injuries to the Chiefs, how they're going to need help blocking on the line, how, how, how there's going to be a lot of attention on Tyreek Hill. I look at Travis Kelsey as a guy who's going to have to do a lot for this team. Who do you think is the key offensive player who's not a quarterback in this Super Bowl? Uh, you know, I, I actually uh, – I'd agree with you. I think both tight end positions um, – you know, when you have such talented weapons on the outside uh, and you have really good backs, they're normally the focus. And sometimes the tight ends get, uh, you know, when, when you have a good one, um, you know, I think they're, they're, they're the, the, the difference makers because they're able to open up the field. Um, you know, they might be putting a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups if guys on the outside are being doubled. And, uh, you, you know, they're, they can be a great outlet if you do bring a lot of pressure and um, you know, those guys are so big and when they're big and fast and, you know, you might have a nickel on you, even if they're covered, they're not covered. You know, they're, they're able to make those big plays when it counts, you know, on third down in the red zone uh, a lot of times. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very anxious to see the tight end play. Christian, I want to ask you about your quarterback situation because both your GM recently and your coach would not commit to Teddy Bridgewater. We've also heard rumors they could be potentially interested in Deshaun Watson. What was your reaction to all of that? Uh, you know, that's I don't think it's my job, um, you know, to, to get into all that stuff. I'm thankful I don't have to make decisions like that, uh, you know, and I get to just focus on becoming a running back and, and being the best player I can be for my teammates. You know, I'll say, um, you know, from experience, I, I've experienced so much change in, in my career. And, um, you know, when you start to focus on that stuff, uh, it leads towards kind of a downward spiral. And so for me, um, all I can do is, is be a leader to my teammates and, and work on work on myself and, and showing up for them so that, uh, you know, they can rely on me uh, when, when my name is called. Christian, let me go back to the football field, uh, to the Super Bowl, rather. Um, 
When I think about Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what he's accomplished has been absolutely phenomenal. We all know that. But when I think about this particular game, one of the things that I'm focusing on that I don't think enough people are focusing on is that although he gets rid of the ball relatively quickly, the fact that he's a relatively stationary quarterback as opposed to somebody like Patrick Mahomes, who we know can fling the football, but he can run with the football as well. How much of a factor, if at all, do you expect that to be in Super Bowl 55? Yeah, you know, you, you brought up a good point. I think uh, one of the things that makes Mahomes so special is his ability to extend plays. Um, you know, when you have a defense like the, the Bucks defense, you know, I know firsthand that uh, they cause a lot of issues in the pass rush, and uh, they got two of the best backers in the league. So being able to, you know, extend plays, uh, find guys that, you know, unplanned, and, and you know, I kind of, the way I look at it is just a fluid player. You know, he's able to flow with the game and, and make plays, uh, when when plays aren't aren't supposed to be there, and uh, I think that that's that comes in both ways. You know, obviously he's very good at that, but uh, you know, you go go watch guys like Hill and go watch guys like Kelsey and, and Hardman and all these guys when he is scrambling. Um, that's an art, you know, being able to um, you know make plays. You know, it's not the route, and 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 go with the flow and go with Mahomes. You know, if he's scrambling right, being able to get open when it's not a scripted route and be on the same page, that's, that's much harder than I think people give it credit for. And, you know, that team makes it, makes it look easy at times. So um, I think that's a, that's a huge deal, and it causes a lot of pressure on the defense. You know, they got to cover guys for, you know, longer than just the four or five seconds, whatever it is. They got to cover guys for six, seven seconds, eight seconds. Um, and, you know, they're not just guys either. They're guys that are, you know, four, two, four, three receivers. So um, that, that's a huge Huge advantage, but you know, once again, it's just the style of play, and, and I think you got two different styles of play on both sides, and so it, it makes for a fun football game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.